Is strong artificial intelligence possible? Well, in order to answer that question, we need to know what artificial intelligence and what strong artificial intelligence are. Artificial intelligence, or AI for short, is the study and design of creating machines which have the ability to acquire and apply knowledge. Take for example Watson. Watson is a computer system which can answer questions in the language you and I can speak, but that's all it can do. On the other hand, strong AI is artificial intelligence that is as smart as, or even smarter than a human. Take for example the robot playing tennis while holding a tray of drinks steadily, whereas its human counterpart spills the drinks. A component of strong AI is having emotional intelligence. The ability to feel emotions, react to others' emotions, and having your emotions affect your decisions in life. In Paris, one ambitious company, Hide and Seek, has taken on the challenge of creating AI with emotions, but in a more unusual medium, a house. The building can show a range of 16 different emotions through screens, using either text or emoticons. It decides what emotion to feel based on a range of different senses, which are implemented in a series of different games. Each game represents one of the building's senses. Feeling, which you touch the building rhythmically. Listening, which is where you make a sound the building wants to hear. And a seeing game, where you use mirrors to help the building see places where its security cameras can't. Although this house gives the user the impression that it is capable of feeling emotions, all it does is use a sophisticated set of rules, otherwise known as an algorithm, to decide which feeling is portrayed to the audience. So far, no examples of AI have been able to show true emotions. With the rapid development of technology, you'd think they would have been able to create this, but why haven't they? AI is currently designed to excel at one task, but one task only. This makes it hard to integrate with other types of AI which are carrying out a completely different task. On the other hand, the human brain has many different parts, but they can all work together in sync to conquer a large variety of challenges. Take for example batting in cricket. This requires a good sense of perception, coordination and decision making. Humans are able to take into account many different factors, such as the bounce of the ball, where it will land and where they should hit it. A robot couldn't bat in cricket efficiently because it is required to succeed at many different tasks. Humans, however, cannot carry out sophisticated calculations very efficiently, whereas a computer can do these kind of specialist tasks with ease. So now we come back to the question, is strong AI possible? We currently have supercomputers with the processing power of a little under half of the human brain, so you think that perhaps we're already close to being there. The answer, however, is that we are a long, long way away. Currently, AI can carry out tasks that simply use processing power and memory very well, like Watson answering general knowledge questions or Deep Blue being able to beat chess grandmasters. On the other hand, they can't deal with the idea of abstraction very well. To be able to be creative, be able to rebel, think outside the box, or truly think for themselves. So what do you think?